Boom, boom, what is up you guys? This is Mick with Fresh From The Flea, and I'm here to bring you guys a new episode. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thrifting at its best. Again, if you guys are loving the videos, do hit that like button, it really does help me out a lot. Let's just get in, see what they got. Woo! Good morning. Wait a minute, wait a minute, is that you? Pablo? Please honey, come to Florida. We miss you. Dude, this is a solid vintage Min USA Active Generation. It looks like a uh, members only jacket, but it's Lockheed. That is awesome. Other than that though, nothing else on the back. So much real estate. Do you think it's coming back, the style? I don't know. Ed Hardy, you know, Ed Hardy? <laughs> I don't know what you think. Dude, are you serious? Look at this. At first, I was like, CDG? Stick up, kids. I think you guys already know. There we go, some cookies, man. If you guys know, Cookies SF. Check it out, you guys. A Stephen King tea in the form of like Calvin Klein. It's not bad. It's a crazy piece, though. When you guys see these uh, skateboarding tees, element at knees with the tags, it's going back to my childhood right now, growing up. 118 board shop, always alive. Look at this one, a nice 86 drugs and violence dare tee, hidden in the mix over here. Got the Laker colorway too. Check this one out on an anvil. Restore the wolf, defenders of the wildlife. It says, "Little Red Riding Hood lied." So, what is going on in this crazy day, right? Not too much from what I'm seeing, but I will still be looking, like always. So you guys, I didn't even talk about these last time, but for nine bucks, some Nike Prestos, man. 2Y. This one in here. Little Budweiser, little backpack. Dude, this is a crazy find right here. So I don't know if you guys know this. The only reason why I know this is from my dad because of the Hoover Vacuum Company. Okay, <laughs> I've never seen this. I've seen this guy before like on a drawing. This is a 1991 Dirt Beastie from Hoover and it's an amazing condition. It's a spokesperson that would have been like for the dirt, like for the dust in the house. This thing is incredible, man. So it's a dollar ninety nine. It's not bad. I'm gonna pick it up. That is amazing. The tag is still on it right there. 
1991. That is insane. And look, right up here, Fat Bastard from Austin Powers. He is broken though, I can see. This is all like, I don't know what happened. It's all ripped up. Look, I see a Franklin uh, baseball with the uh, fake signature of Barry Bonds in there. This little collector. Going back, man. To you guys oh my gosh that's what's up man coming out of there <laughs> with an lanikai ukulele that is what i'm talking about l-u-t-u-2 what is that 15 and look at that it's got a pickup in there so this can actually be plugged in to an electric amp that is crazy man i haven't even looked up the comps on this thing the wood is beautiful, man. I gotta, I gotta play it right now, seriously. Trouble melts like lemon drops High above the chimney tops this way Will you find me, oh, somewhere over the rainbow That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. That is always beautiful. So yes, you guys, I'm coming out of the Good Bowl right now. Uh, I didn't bring the camera in, so I had to go grab it and film it again, but uh, vintage Louis Vuitton fanny pack, uh, bootleg, yes, bootleg. But this one's crazy, because this was the one that Kendall Jenner, I don't know if you guys keep up with the supermarket tabloids, but this is the one that she was wearing around a lot, and people were like getting kind of crazy about it, and then they found out it was a bootleg which they were surprised, but that's when bootlegs were starting to get popular, if you guys know. From here to now. Let's just go, man. Getting crazy. And like always, you guys, the grind does not stop even while thrifting. I already told you this. Boom. Let's go. So we are here. Let's finish what we started. Zapatos, zapatos. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, the gum sole new balances look actually crispy. Look, I see it from over here, man. The Marlboro Unlimited bag. Eight bucks. Are you serious, man? Look at that, you guys, coming up in the hat section. I don't know about this one. I think it's a Nicki Minaj hat. But look at that, the camel hat. It looks beautiful. It does have the back right there embroidered. It does a camel, a snap. Awesome. Then you got the two X hats, if you guys know Malcolm X. Nice snap backs. For $1.99 each, definitely gonna pick these up. Not made by Roman, but hey, that's how it goes. Dude, 30 bucks. Vintage polo though. Look at that you guys, 1984 Olympics towel. A little cracking. Dude, for a second I thought, come on, show me a tag, show me something. <laughs> nope. Look at that, some diamond kicks, eight bucks. Are they even real? Man? Interesting, interesting, let's see. Where's the tag? 
Oh, there it is. So it is real. Oh yeah, that's why. 15 bucks. I don't know, man, I see the sweat. I see some sweat stains right here. Maybe. Can I flip it? Can I flip it? Look, it's another Iron Maiden. Got Eddie right there. 2004. No, not 2006. Eight bucks. I bet that off white over here. Huh? Gosh. I mean, honestly, guys, not bad, not bad. Coming out of there with three hats. Let's just get into it. Let's go. So, yeah, so guys, let's get in the recap straight away. So, in the hats, you pick up three, count them three, two Malcolm X hats. Now, I don't know the maker. Now, the one I did find originally was an older one, but it had the Roman tag, just like Spike Lee had made. Uh, this one on the hand does look pretty good. It is an older piece. Again, you can see the snap on it. You can see that the top little buttons on both of them are fading out. It's from the black to brown. But for $1.99 each, I had to pick them up. As well as that $1.99, a uh, nice camel hat. Outline profile of Mr. Camel. Dude, the wind is picking up out here. I gotta do this quick. <laughs> Not to that, for $1.99, did pick up now, this one's a nice collector's piece for any Hoover fans out there. Uh, I mean, I know the name Hoover uh, vacuum cleaners. Now, do you? It still has the tag on it. I haven't been able to open it because it's been stapled right through the middle. So I'm gonna have to take off that staple very nicely. But that's that's pretty nice. That's <laughs> pretty nice for a dollar ninety nine. Not to that for size large. But again, uh, mid range Gildan, maybe ninety seven. Um, 99 cents size large does have the number 86 and like I said the Lakers colorway uh, 86 I don't know I need to look that up drugs and violence and it is a dare tea though so coming up on my childhood you know you gotta learn dude somebody's alarm is going off but yeah on to that I did pick up the Lanikai ukulele again G1 1403 I don't know it says Lanikai tuna uk Got the nice little pickup right there for uh, to actually plug this into and a nice amp. I will be checking that out because I do have one other one at home. Uh, just an amazing piece, eight ninety nine. That is such a steal. Uh, now, last but not least, and it's going to be definitely the cop of the day. Did pick this one for twelve ninety nine, and because of the deal, I had to wait in line for this thing. Uh, I did pick it up for seven fifty nine, so almost like eight bucks, and I donated something. So. Louis Vuitton Paris made in France again you can see that vintage patch right there it looks like leather but it's not uh, again I don't know if you guys know I'm probably put a post a picture of a Kendall Jenner rocking this thing and that's why people were wondering if this thing was even real the vintage Louis Vuitton she had but it wasn't and uh yeah so yes you guys I want to thank you for watching it was an insane day full of finds and that's what I love I went to the spot so by the way I went to the spot that I found this at because one of you guys hit me up and from the last video and wanted a t-shirt I did go back to check it out and it wasn't there sadly it wasn't there but you know that's how it goes in the surf game it's there one minute and gone the next and that's why you gotta pick it up when you find it for me it wasn't a cop but for this one definitely Again, I'm gonna say you guys do hit on my Depop, get fresh from the fleet, get fresh, and I'm gonna say what do I say? Hit that sub as one of the videos to come. This is Mick from Fresh from the Fleet.